Jefferson, come on, man. Mm -hmm. Week one of the preseason. Talk. A lot of guys trying to get a roster spot. They've been trying too hard. Well, uh, a little quarterback controversy uh, between a couple of guys on this set as we started last, last week. So I'm going to start out in Chicago. A tough debut for Jake Cutler. Saturday against the Bills. First quarter, Cutler throws. Leotis McKelvin with a fairly easy pick ball thrown short. Later in the first quarter, could have been another pick as Cutler threw in the quadruple coverage. He finished 5 for 10, 64 yards. No TDs. Come on, man. Well, you look at, look at the guy that's in Denver now, Kyle Orton, <laughs> who was even worse. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Coach? Well, I'll tell you what, Vince Young, he had a good day, too, from 31 yards. When you watch this play right here, that couldn't keep out of this thing, but he fumbles it, he throws it behind him, and then that white, and that white play soccer with it, he got a goal. Come on, man. Let me show you guys something. Packers in mid-season form. Donald Driver over the shoulder. Catch! Gonna take a little Lambo leap. Oh! Oh, the fans didn't get the memo. It's the preseason, not only for announcers, but also for the fans. <laughs> the driver. Come on, man. Hey, wait, everything's new in Detroit. It's all new, and the opening uh, preseason game. The mic doesn't work on the national anthem. So the Falcons sing. But you know what? It's all forgotten. Detroit, they won the game. Jason Hansen, 47 yard field goal. They're 1 0. At least in the preseason. You know what it meant? Of course, they were 4 0 last year in the five, 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 the Jim Schwartz was good, the head coach, he said, they don't put on your tombstone preseason record, no. but no. they won, and Lion fans said, the Jets are out. Still ahead. Tommy, thank you. The special bonus edition of Come On. Now look, this is what happens when USC makes a tackle. Washington's going to kick a field goal. We're celebrating the about to lose, Key. Wait. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 24 Celebrate what? Coach P. All right. 24 hours. All right. There's only one way to come back from that. Your own version. What did you see in week two, kid? Week two is bad. Let's go out to the Raiders in the Kansas City Chiefs third quarter. Chiefs punter Dustin Cole quick punts the ball deep down the field. It looks like an easy opportunity for the Chiefs to down the ball inside the five-yard line. But take a look at this. A uh, bunch of Chiefs around, and the guy kicks the ball in there. Money, Monty, Beasel, what are you doing? The team, come on, man. Key Bills Patriots last Monday night, opening kickoff. You've waited all offseason for George Wilson, great kid, special teams captain. I was concentrating so much, I forgot <laughs> to go down and cover the kick. I, I, I'm ready, I'm ready. Come on, man. Trent Edwards drops back play action. Looks down the right sideline. Perfect throw. Oh! What was that? Oh! What? Be careful what you ask for. Last week, criticized his quarterback. I don't know what he's getting ready to do right here, but I'm going to tell you the truth, boy. Come on, man. Well, we got the Cardinals and the Jags. Fourth quarter, fourth and 13. David Drive finds an open. Nate Hughes in the end zone. Watch right, he scrambles, hits him, hits him right square in the face mask. And you can't catch it with your face mask, son. Huh? There's no hands on it. Come on, man. By the referees, they had a rough weekend. Steelers, Bears, look, Scott Green, and he's the ref. The Bears gave him a timeout. And boy, get rid of that uh, Jada Media done face, right? Panthers topic. Moose in Mohammed. That's <laughs> over on Park Guard, T. Felice. And then, wouldn't you know it, here's to all, another, it's not really a turnover, but he, 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 Rosario into D. Felice, and then Muhammad went over and said, you know what, come on, man, we really didn't mean that. See the referee went, get out of here. <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> oh, man, week two, come on, man. To our own, come on, man. Mort, Adam, come on, man, what do you got? New Orleans in their division. Thanks, Susie. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, by the way, 300 like luxury suites at all different levels. Field level up there to the May. I was in there on Wednesday. Amazing, amazing place. Now they want to win a game. But, so Jerry's saying to them, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are they, 
What are we looking at yesterday, week three, Keith? Well, we're going to start off looking at Come on, man. Very bad. Come on, man. Browns and the Ravens. Derek Anderson, he's in for the bench. Brady Quinn. Anderson, three interceptions. Here's one. Here's two. The second to Ed Reed. The third here. Actually, the third to Ed Reed. Now he's running around. Trips. Tried to get back up. Tripped up again by Trevor Price. Matt Genie sitting there saying, I could have stuck with Brady Quinn. Come on, man. Key, I'm taking a look at Byron Leftwich. He throws this pick to Terrell Thomas. Then he's going to throw a ball about four yards behind his wide receiver, Michael Clayton. This next one goes to no one. He had a total of 22 yards on the day. Come on, man. Well, Leftwich, wish he could throw the ball like, like Ben Roethlisberger right here. As you see, Lyman Swede, number 14, straight down the middle. Oh, right key in the bread basket, trying to throw his hands up. Man, this is pro football. You ain't at Brenham High School. Come on, man. Third quarter, the Falcons are driving to take the lead on the Patriots. Perfect throw by Ryan. Great catch by Michael Jenkins. Watch what happens here. The defender, Bowman, is all over him. He pushes him away. They call interference on the receiver. That calls for it. Come on, man. And you've got to be kidding. Kurt Warner, well, he's up there on a lot of numbers. Maybe not as far as Fran Tarkin to know because what? I'm going to go. 28 yard sack? No. It, for Sir Francis, he went back 30 yards and still yeah. made plays. But Kurt, come on, man. You're not a scrambler. You're a real good thrower. Kurt, now, he tried. Looks like he's about 60 years well, old. Well, 28 yards deep, Keith. <laughs> now, some guys who are 28 yards deep and God knows how much farther. Adam and Mort. Fellas, come on, man. Well, we got some great plays coming up tonight, but there were some plays yesterday in week four. Not so great. And Keith, we always so like you to tee this off. This yeah, we're going yeah. to go up to New England and see you. Our homeboys up in Baltimore, fourth quarter. Ravens and the Patriots. Ravens are in the red zone. Last chance to make a play. Ball hits Mark Clayton right in the chest. He drops the ball. As you see Joe Flacco throws it right there. Catch the ball with your hands, son. That's what the coach is thinking right there, saying, come on, man. <laughs> Lions versus the Bears. Johnny knocks on the kickoff return. Hits the open field, avoids a couple tacklers. Running the daylight. Check out the brother, Daryl McGee. Look at this brother stride. Look at this brother stride for stride. Now Knox ran a 4 3 4 at the combine. Daryl McGee outran the Lions. Come on, Lion. Come on, man. <laughs> Raiders versus the Texans. Jacoby Jones on a kickoff return. Shane Leckler going to make the play. I can't get it, my mind as well gone and get the Gatorade. No need for me to get the plans at him. And people wonder why professionals treat the kickers a little bit differently. That whiff right there says it all. Come on, man. Well, Trent Dipper's already covered this. Watch Trell does. He gets pushed into uh, the, the, the quarterback here, which is Brady. And, and nothing happens. He misses him. Actually, totally misses him. But because he was going low, Brady goes to the official. The official throws a flag. It's crazy, gang. Come on, man. Stop it. <laughs> Go to the Redskins. They won, but boy, Jason Campbell going back to the fence. And he complete off the head of umpire Chad Brown. Now, <laughs> doink, 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 doink. I want you to look at, here's the play, and let me, oh, uh, I, uh, you know what, Chad, he's tough. They, they're like the linebacker chip. Come on, man. <laughs> For more news and notes, let's check in with some, some guys that, they always say, come on, man. <laughs> Susie, Michelle, thank you very much, uh, getting set for the game, and, but, <laughs> Yesterday, I don't know whether it was a holiday weekend or what, guys, but <laughs> we had we had like two full pages written down for come on man Keith. I'm anxious to see where you're gonna start. We're gonna start the Vikings and the Rams and we're gonna go right now. Fourth quarter, the Rams down 31-3. Donnie Avery will catch a 27-yard TD pass. As you can see right here, nice move, catches the ball in the end zone. Huh. Here we go. Now what's this? What is that, Tommy? You and Taylor told me it's called a stanky leg. The stanky leg. So you gonna sit and dance? You down thirty-one to nine, and you celebrate? Are you serious? Come on, man. Browns and the Bills. Third quarter in a very tight uh, ball game, three to three. Roscoe Perez. I saw him this all season. He said, "Say something about me on the show." He gonna sell out. He goes to the right. Now it's a very close ball game. He decides to lose fifteen yards. 
so good. Me and your coach gonna say something about you. Bobby April and myself looking at you saying, come on, man. Now, See, he's Owen Schmidt of the Seattle Seahawks, but let's go back November 2007. Oh, I think oh, that's Dre Blyde. Oh, oh, that's, that's Dre Blyde. Blyde. Dre Blyde. And it's okay. Matt Ryan threw an interception. Dre Blyde picked it up. He starts doing a Deion Sanders impersonation. He gets tripped by Roddy White. He loses the football. Stupid is. And stupid does. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> that might apply to me right about now. Come on, <laughs> Let's go Owen Schmidt, Seattle Seahawks, November 2007. But let's go back. This is West Virginia. Right. He bashes himself in the head before the game. Fast forward to yesterday he bashes himself in the head until he is bleeding from the foot. No workman's compensation for you. <laughs> Come on, man. I, I gotta go to the Rams because they were a hat trick. They said, what? Kyle Bowler, he's a pro bowler. I don't mean professional, I mean a professional bowler. Then it was a fumble and Steven Jackson would go in and we fumble and then Daniel fell backwards back. Ah! The Rams, a collective, come on, man! You lost with their next on the clock, they lost, what, 15 now? We're forgetting about the Lions. Come on, come on, man, next week. Come on, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> you want more? And bail us out of here with news and notes from Columbus Day. More than Adam. Thanks a lot, Michelle. Hey, fans getting ready in the parking lot. Even the caveman has joined the festivities. I thought you were a motorcycle. Hey, boom. As easy as, well, you know the deal. How about being a caveman looking fan? It's so easy, everybody can do it, boo. Well, the skins, and maybe the fans who want to identify themselves. They come with the hog thing, they come with the caveman, maybe that's the way. Instead of the bag on the head because the skin's not playing well, maybe that's the way to go. All right, so that's caveman. Now, how about. Come on, man! man. Let's go to Miami. Tomato can come on, man. Go down to Miami. The Saints versus the Dolphins in the third quarter. The Miami Dolphins are up 24-10. And quarterback Chad Henning is looking for Ted Ginn. Junior down the field, but Ted can't seem to hold on to the ball in the hands of Darren Sharper, who returns it for his third interception for a touchdown this year. Take another look at this. Ted Ginn cannot figure out if he wants to catch it over his shoulder or with his hands. Here we go again. Let's take a look at the fourth quarter. Three minutes left in the game. The Dolphins are down by six points. Again, we're going to try to throw the ball at Ted Ginn and make him our playmaker. For some reason, this kid can't figure out how to play football. Come on, man. Viking Steelers, I'll tell you, fourth quarter, Pittsburgh kicks off. Jeffrey watches. Percy Hunt. Jeffrey's going to play two-hand tag. My goodness gracious. He almost got it. Jeff had a bad week, but that, I didn't even know nothing in his contract that said kickers cannot tackle. That was horrible. Come on, man, look at this. Oh, come on, Jeff, I've had my hair dirty. <laughs> now I know the Raiders won last week, but Jamarcus Rad, uh, whoa, man. <laughs> Jim Leonard, I mean, they going backwards and we did not even close. He was open. I know, he was wide open. Jamarcus, no! Come on, man! They even called I got nothing to say. And boom, because of that, Bruce Grankowski replaces Russell. He scrambles out of the pocket, gets a first down, they're losing 24 0. And that's another Raider first down! Come on, man! <laughs> Man, we're, we're loving Oakland. We're on the other side. Mark Sanchez sitting on the sideline going to put a little muscle in the hot dog. Now, bro, you can eat a hot dog on the sideline. We've done that many a time. But come on, man. you got to be a little smoother about it. We're going to eat a hot dog on set, though, now. Well, you got to cover it up a little bit like this. <laughs> uh, uh, am I allowed to have this key? Yeah, one bite, right? One bite. Boom, you working both ends of it. Yeah, I am. Boom, you made my apple. <laughs> Applebee's hot dog. Good deal. Sure. sure. <laughs> I get it. And, and then, of course, bro, last week when the paper was Broadway, small this week, top dog. Top yeah. dog. Big <laughs> big <laughs> Well, I know it's not quite to, to, to uh, talk in the mouthful, but I'm going to do a long last check of news and notes. Let's go over to two sauerkrauts, Adam and Mort. <laughs> Boom, that hot dog is not on your diet. I know that. Now, look, this actually happened yesterday. Aaron Rodgers scoring. Area, red zone, sack, and look at him. Look, take a look close. Look, what is he? Come on, man. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Copyright infringement. I mean, that's <laughs> all, Aaron. I know how you felt, <laughs> that's man. Right. It was nice. That's right. That was that key. Stealing your thunder. Yeah. A lot of pretty good come on, man, from yesterday. What do we got?
So let's start off right now. Let's go to the Seahawks and the Dallas Cowboys in the third quarter. Quarterback Tony Romo is looking for Miles Austin, three-yard TD pass, and Miles Austin decides, you know what, I'm going to try a Kobe Bryant, you know, Michael Jordan type imitation here. So here's Kobe Bryant. You see his verbs. You know, <laughs> I don't know what that looked like. Here's a quarterback. New Orleans Drew Brees, six feet tall. Now, you see his verts. Oh, nice. Now, here's Mark Sanchez, my Trojan, 6'2". You see his verts. Now, Miles Austin is a receiver, 6'3". What are you doing? <laughs> Where's your verts? Then he's going to try to fake it and go around on the pole. Come on, man. <laughs> Rams versus the Lions right here. Matthew Stafford picked <laughs> off by James Brown. Let me take this back to the out. Let me go back in the house. That dude came out the end zone, went back in the... That right there's a bad sign. That's what you call a safe. And if that's not enough for the St. Louis, later in the game, Coach back, no low wins his first game. Have you guys ever seen a celebration? Get a whole thing of Gatorade. <laughs> Come on, man. CC, we maybe should rename this segment the Raiders. Uh, Jamarcus Russell getting sacked. But we want to show you why he got sacked. Johnny Lee Higgins and Lewis Murphy taking running around or running the area to a new law. We're flooding the area of the 50 yard line with the, you think the deployment defenders thinking. Come on, man. <laughs> well, I watched Jared Allen here. He, he only leads the, the National Football League in sacks. Watch T.J. Lang block down and let him go untouched to the quarterback. I mean, my lord, I mean, this is incredible. Don't block the block the number 69. He's a football player. T.J., come on, man. <laughs> and the Seattle, come on, Seattle. Now look at this play to hurt. I got you, I got you. Here's the temp. One, two, three, four. What, 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 what? Come on, man, and come on, Seattle. Let's go. That was a good one. <laughs> the dump league will get a lot. No, I lost the dude. Seriously. I mean, <laughs> come on, bro. I mean, uh, can you help us out now. <laughs> what do you help us out? Yeah, you help us out. <laughs> one <laughs> Having a good time tonight. One uh, last check on news and notes. Lucy, thank you very much for the. Now, this is, come on, man, semi pro style. James Harris returning the punt for the Las Vegas Cobras. Now, watch this tackle. The bad news it's the same team. Corey Tunner said, I guess I got confused. <laughs> Right, so, great hit, but he got Sunday Thunder. But uh, he, it can same happen. team. Come on, man. come on, man. It can but happen. But that was semi-pro. Special team. Pro. That's why I semi. That's why I semi. Semi pro. All right, Keith. Yeah, we had a lot yesterday. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's go up to Seattle. Lions versus Seahawks in the fourth quarter. Fourth and one. Seahawks clearly are not going to run a play. Trying to draw the Lions off sides. He's looking at Hasselback, the quarterback. Runs up to the line of scrimmage. Freeze. London Cohen decides, I'm going to jump off sides. One second left on the play clock. Now, all of a sudden, he jumps off sides. What are you thinking? And now everybody's looking, the coach is mad, Jim Schwartz is trying to figure out, what are you doing? Come on, man. <laughs> Dolphins and the Patriots, fourth quarter. Dolphins here, down by seven. Miami, oh, no timeouts. Chad Henning, watch Michigan alumni Chad Henning, who called timeout. Mike Carey lets him know, bro, you can't do that. Remember the other Michigan alumni, Michigan man, Mike, uh, Chris Weber there, 1993 NCAA championship, cost the Fab Five. Chad Henning, you know better. Come on, man. Well, we got the Cardinal Bears. You got to watch Tommy Harris, number 91. He gets mocked by Deuce Latoui. Watch what happens now. You go back and we think about he's punching Mr. Latoui in the face. Oh. And I can honestly say, Tommy, that's the first time you hit somebody all year. Come on, man. <laughs> Giants special teams. We're going to kick a field goal. Well, the hold Feagles, the kick times. What? What? Come on, man. And then Kevin Dockery. This is this is illegal, okay? You're going backwards into Darren's throat. Come on, man. Boom, Raiders had a bye week, but not on Come On Man. We go all the way back to week four. This is Shane Leckler getting ready to make a tackle on Jacoby. Well, I 
can't get you. I might want to go out and get some Gatorade or whatever we drink on the side right now. Week seven, Jamarcus Russell. I'm going to find you open, but it's Jim Leonard from the other team, the New York Football Jets, but I will keep you from getting in the end zone. And finally, Johnny Lee Higgins and Lewis Murphy, again, redefining running a route in the same area. So on the Saturday, what route were you running? Well, what route were you? Come on, man. So, you couldn't stay away from the ride. Nah, but you don't play, you have a bye week, you're at home resting. Not that you don't want you're to You're off somewhere, off. and you still get an opportunity to be on National Football. When you're the Raiders. When well, you're the Raiders. This is what happens. Very fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Everybody liked that segment. We like doing it. We miss the Raiders. We? All right. Well, let's go to two of the Raiders' favorite guys. <laughs> Last Monday night, we had the Steelers beating the Broncos in Denver, Tom. We're all saying there will be more returning the, uh, on the return. Keenan Lewis of the Steelers call for block in the back. I want you to watch Mike Tomlin after the call. Come on, man. He's good. He's good. Coach is good. That's uh, well, So, Key, now you get a type of coach there. What do we got? Now, we got to say. We did watch. Never mind. You start. Well, let's go out to the Cowboys and the Packers in the second quarter. Wide receiver Roy Williams catches a ball from Tony Romo. 42-yard game. So he thinks he's off to the races. But Charles Woodson comes from behind and pokes the ball out. Later in the game, the guy, the same guy who complains, if he does not get enough throws, well, here you go right here. Right off the face mask. And what do I do? Boom. Bam. Now I'm going to turn to my quarterback and I'm going to say, man, look, man, the, the lights. Come on, man. <laughs> Week number seven, Vikings versus Steelers. Percy Harvin returns a kickoff. Jeff Reed, you've seen him before. Yes, two-hand touch. Harvin goes on to score a touchdown. Yesterday, Bernard Scott. Now, Reed, you know better. You need to do some running, too, boy. You're looking awful puffy. Come on, man. <laughs> Wouldn't be come on, man, without the Raiders, but this is all positive. The Raiders forcing a fumble. They come up. And you see him knock the ball. Now, this is the part that may come on, man, where you try to actually recover the fumble after it's on the ground. But the game is not lost. Darius Hayward Bay is going to put us inside the 10-yard line. Be up hey, I'm making $4 million a catch right now. As Charlie Fry passes by and says, come on, man. <laughs> Well, watch Devin Hester. You got the Bears and the 49ers. You got the trifecta. Five yards. Illegal procedure. Watch the next one. Holy. Ten yards. That's number two. <laughs> now we got the trifecta coming up. Here it comes. He runs for the pass. Ball is down. It's intercepted. Guy goes 51. Your guy gave up 66 yards. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Come on, man. But he's fast. All right, Jaguars, Jets, a great series here. Mark Sanchez, Quentin Groves. He's off to the Groves. Down to the four. The Jags in business. Two plays under Maurice Jones. Drew at the one. Bubble. Jets, two play. Braylon Edwards. He's going to turn it around for the Jets who get a brick. Fumble! I guess he's only good on Monday night. Jets, Jets, come on, man! That, by the way, that Chiefs Raiders game, the whole three hours. <laughs> I got on, the man. commercials. That was unbelievable. Somebody told me about the Chiefs Raiders game. The team that goes back the fastest will win the fastest. Because every time you look at us. <laughs> Well, we have fun doing it every week. <laughs> Stuart, come on, man. It's time for a field pass. <laughs> come on, boom. You it would be, and he's a guy to handle it. Thank you, Michelle. Enjoy the game. Uh, let's bring in Adam here for a minute. Uh, <laughs> come on, man. I mean, we the key, i got to give him credit. They lit the match on this thing, and it's becoming a craze around the league and around the fans. What, what do we know here around the league that we're not going to show on TV tonight? Well, Boom, just last week on this very play when Britton Rose picked off this pass and went down near the Jets' end zone and fell, the Jaguars players in their own locker room put down white tape marks, imitated a Jets' end zone, put a stick figure of Quentin Groves on the ground, falling, and wrote, come on, man, down in the Jaguars' locker room. So the idea of come on, man, is catching on everywhere, apparently. Fire. It is. Eddie. Look what you started, King. Uh, I just try to do my job. Uh, you know, and now, and now, I got to say, normally we let you tee it off. We're going to stay. Everybody's involved with come on, man. I hate to do it. Oh. But my league. Ah. But the Ivy League. By the way, Brown lost to Columbia. Come on, man. But this is the, the game. 
Oh, Coach Tom Williams, his team played so well for Yale. Up fourth and 22, they're up on Harvard, and they call for a fake. Caught up 10-7, then they made 15 yards, but they needed 22, so what happened? Harvard comes back, scores the winning touchdown. Coach Williams, I like what you're doing. That was a fourth and 20. He nuts. Fourth and 22, he took all the blame himself. Oh, I hate to do it, but come on, man. Well, get this. This is Elias in the crowd. The come on, man, is alive and well. Like this. Matthew Stafford, he throws the Hail Mary. Goes down to Hank will keep tackling Brian Johnson. Watch him tackle him. That's illegal. You can't do that. Come on, man. <laughs> come on. I'm taking you to the Seattle and Vikings halftime. Mascots versus the little kid. Watch the Vikings mascot throw to the golden gopher. Look at him run over a little stiff arm. Like, man, he's like, like Adrian Peterson. He's like on the HGH. Look at him. Watch this replay. I think this is a crime to run over kids this way. Come on, man. And then I'm going to the Eagles versus the Bears. Jay Cutler, incomplete. Patterson, the quarterback. Watch this. He threw it by any means necessary. He pulled the dude's pants down. Patterson, you can't. Look at that dude. He got his bottom showing. Come on, man. We're going to go right back to that Eagles Bears first quarter sweep play. Matt Forte on the right side. Watch Coach Andy Reid. And the down marker guy. Play close attention. That's the down marker between Andy Reid's legs. There it is again. Andy Reid turns around, looks down, and says, wait a minute, hold this How one. This shouldn't be here. One more time. What is going on? Come on, man. The Eagles versus the Bears. Now, now Jay Cutler, it's a tough night. Overthrows Greg Olson, gets tied in. Now, a wide open next Devin play. Hester. This is the next play. Now, this is early on in the game. This last one is to win the football game. He overthrows Johnny Knox. And if you glance to the left, what is the oh, oh, oh. Come, Come on, on man. man. <laughs> <laughs> man, we're at it. Oh, boy. We're not bad. Over <laughs> from Yale, I smarted him so. <laughs> I know we try to keep it. I know if we get too deep in football, as Steve Young always told You're me. You're alone. Know, That's correct. I hate it. Too. Man. Oh. These things happen. Now, speaking of two guys outsmarting themselves, Adam and Mort, it's time for them. Some pre Thanksgiving leftovers, some cranberries, some yams. Come on, yams. I don't know if we can top that, that come on man segment as usual, but listen, as Adam. As Setting up for a great game. Hey, Michelle, yeah, come on, man. Everybody loves the segment, but boom, I, I don't think they're talking about the segment. I think what they're telling you is, come on, man, let's get to come on, man. Uh, you may be right, Stu, because we can't wait to get to it every way. Get key, you t Hey, we know everyone likes it out here, but not as much as we like it in here. So, well, hey, you know, guys, what do you Florida, got for us? Guys from Florida State couldn't wait to graduate to get to the pros. <laughs> Let's go to Florida State for more than third quarter. Watch the Seminoles' offensive line. These four guys are right here. Oh, there's a snap. Okay, so we're going to take the snap. We decide, uh, well, this one guy decides he's not going to move. Zebra is standing there while the Seminoles quarterback, EJ, EJ Manuel, is running around for his life. Sanders doesn't move. He's just standing there. Like, he has no idea of what's going on. Wow. Where have you been, son? Come on, man. Well, I'm going to Buffalo. Ricky Williams in the Wildcat. Ricky Williams throws a pass. Now, Coach Dicker told me Ricky couldn't throw. and would be surprised if they ever let him throw the ball. But here we go with Fitzpatrick. Still in Buffalo. Throws a strike right to Yeramai Bell. Watch Coach Sperano right here. Coach. Oh, slow down, Coach. Now, it's never good when the player is telling the coach what to do. Coach Sperano, time out. It's changing possession. Coach, cool out, Coach. Aiken Adele telling, cool out, Coach. I got this. Come on, man. <laughs> Oakland Raiders, let me be the last to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. That is Lewis Murphy and Johnny Lee Higgins, week eight, running into each other. Fast forward to Thanksgiving Day, now on the defense. Oh. The Raiders must be practicing, running into each other all over the field, and they've got it down to a science. Get up, man. Come on, man. man. Well, you look at the Chiefs in charge of second quarter. Watch what happens. The ball slips out of Matt Castle's head. Paul Oliver picks it off. He's gone to the house for a touchdown. Now, watch Rudy Nicewanger. He is a snapper. Watch this one. There is over his head. It's recovered by the Chargers. Bang. They go in. Another one. Too high. Oh. He fumbles it. Can't hold on to it. Rudy. 
It's not that hard. You gotta figure it out. Come on, man. Now this is painful. We go to the Grey Cup, Saskatchewan, trying to win an upset Montreal 27-25. And they're gonna kick his no guard. Montreal misses it, Siskin. You play with 12 on a side, but they had 13 men on the field on the last play. Too many men on the ice. And this is the special teams coach, Candace Reed, up in the booth for the Rough Riders. Now at 33 on field, well, you know what's going to happen. It's up to sit ball. <laughs> Les Alouette Gagné, 28 and 27. Oh, Saskatchewan special teams. Come on, man. Oh, <laughs> they lost the championship on that. And then coach said, everybody get out there to block oh, the kick. <laughs> so they did. <laughs> it mean, oh, Maybe it happens more than you think. Well, let, I know. Let's count it. Two guys, that we, I think they can count, but we can count on them <laughs> more than Adam. What do you got, guys? Thanks, Michelle. Hey, Wednesday night, I'll be in the NBA studio, so I couldn't resist. Two nights ago, Bulls Raptors, Toronto's Jared Jack dribbling the ball, realizes his shoe is untied, so Clark running, <laughs> dude ties his shoe. Go after him. Come on, Come on. man. That's wow. a new standard. NBA. Wow, Stu. Hey, tie the shoe. They gave him a free pass with that? What's up with that, Key? Yeah, had to figure out how to Nobody knows that. Yeah. Well, I didn't. <laughs> Wait a Come on, man. You <laughs> great. Will you please? What do we got? What do we do football? Stu gave us a little hoop. What do we got? Well, Come on, man. First of all, my man Braylon Edwards, he wanted to be big time. He's going to be big time tonight, big dog. You made the show. You made the show. Mark Sanchez drop back, passes the ball to Braylon Edwards deep down the field off of his helmet. Now, take another look at this. Helmet, football, face, <laughs> equal, drop. Now, Braylon, the lights, man. Braylon on the lights and Mark Sanchez thinks touchdown six, but he's thinking now, Come on, man. Key Titans and Colts. Vince Young, you'll never see a prettier pass thrown than this to Nate Washington. And he's about to... Now, hold on. We're going to use Come On Man as a teaching tool. Football, hands, try to connect the two. Doesn't work. Same game. Defensive lineman Tony Brown thrown down. He's a little bit mad. Three students. Right in the eye. Come on, man. When we go to the Texas Jags, the Texans are about to score. They go pitch the running back, Chris Brown, who threw it watches. No, there is no Texan in sight. No Texan anywhere. Gerald enters, Alexander intercepts the ball. Come on, man. <laughs> Over to the Meadowlands between the Giants and the Cowboys. More happened between the end of the second quarter and the start of the third. The halftime flows all out. Come on. <laughs> it's just the time you, oh, I'm going to run off. No one will see it. Except for these 106 players that were in the middle of Flow. Come on, man. <laughs> Boom, I'm staying the same game. The opening kickoff for the second half. David Burley, the kicker. Oh, stop for a minute. Um, the win. So what's going on? Why won't they start the game here? You're not going to believe this. People are dying to get on. Come on, man. The side judge, Greg Bradley. Man, I was working some stuff out. Oh, couldn't make it back in time. Come on, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Flozo Adams there, I mean, now back to what he did. I mean, uh, repercussions, Adam, uh, what do we know from the league? Boom, you said no one would see it. Well, the league did. They've already spoken to Flozell Adams about it. Remember, Flozell Adams was fined $5,000 in week one for a unnecessary roughness, week two for tripping Justin Tuck. They've already taken a close look at this. They will discipline Flozell Adams. Certainly he'll get a fine, and it's possible that he could even wind up getting a suspension. The Giants, obviously, were none too happy about this turn of events. Also yesterday, ooh. Wow. <laughs> or come on, man, for the Raiders. Oh, Marcus. Well, Gronkowski, too bad that he was playing nicely. Oh, wow. So, perfect. Raiders, although they've been playing better. Key, it's our segment. Here it is. Oh, oh, man, we got a lot to go out to the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears. Quarterback Aaron Rodgers drops back, attempts a pass, but he fumbles the ball, catches it, fumbles it again. Now, take a closer look at this. Whoop, fumble there, fumble there. Oh, now the Bears, uh, interception. Come on, Aaron. Now the same game, Jake Cutler drives back, flat-footed, heaves the ball, Nick Collins picks it off. Cutler, what do you
are you doing? I thought you left this behind you. Come on, man. Key, I'm going to the Rams and Titans. This guy right here, Richie Incognito. He don't even know what his name means. Incognito. That means to be disguised, unidentifiable. Then you go see him pushing Vincent Fuller after the play. Now you're supposed to be high. You're a big dude. Now you're coach. You're arguing with Spagnolo. Incognito. Come on, man. Redskins and the Raiders. I know I've been tough on the Raiders, but this is positive Raiders. Jamarcus Russell hit by Brian Arakpo. Fumble. Looks like it's going to be turned over. That is Andre Carter. You got to scoop and score. This is what makes it positive Raiders. <laughs> they recovered their own fumble. Come on, man. Well, we got the Saints and the Falcons. Drew Brees, he throws deep to Robert Mitchum. It's intercepted by Trent Grimes. A great play. But he's called for pass interference. Watch it again. He plays a little bump and he makes a great play. Now watch Coach Smith. He pulls a dead cut. He smashes it. <laughs> so for Mike Smith, I say, you the man. And then the official to make the call. Come on, He's man. on his way to Radio Shack. Uh, Hakeem Nitsch, what an interesting sequence he had with Eli last night. He cut it. Cut it. <laughs> Well, but that's all right, because the next play but to Nitsch, he could go all in. But then the same drive, third and four, he could go all the way from come on, man, to you the man. Hakeem <laughs> Nitsch, you can talk to me. Oh, man, redemption is good. Raiders get fumbled. Nitsch finally I, be I better apologize to Ruben Carter. He's a seventh-degree black belt in Taekwondo, so... I love but he didn't miss it. All he yeah, oh, but <laughs> that's start, right. he didn't start messing with me. Come out the room. You know, come on, man. Any type of way. Just log on to come on, man. <laughs> but what do you think? Oh, that's a good man. You know what I'm saying? You know what? But we didn't man, realize man, come on, man was now being used as a coaching tool. Yeah. They're making a movie. Oh, well, <laughs> he plays one, you. No one talked about it with me. No, I'm playing you. <laughs> <laughs> Ebenezer did. All right, so Ebenezer, Carter, you get to kick it off this Oh, man, I get to kick it off. Preseason, man, I'm going to let him start. All right. Oh, you know how that go, boom. Yeah, yeah. Honorary start? Yeah. Go. Man, let's get it cracking. <laughs> Tommy Kelly. Denver Broncos, no Sean Marino running off tackle here. Watch them with 93 spot shadow here. Tommy Kelly. Man, people are doing whatever they can to get in. Come on, man. I, man, we got strippers coming. Oh. <laughs> we got people stripping to try to get on the show. Tommy Kelly, 93. Look at make the now, now you can't do come on, man. They go a definition of panic Paul Seahawks quarterback Matt Hasselback scrambles. As you can see, for trying to get the first down, runs into his own guard, Rob Sims, tries to land him for the first down, Hasselback fumbles, Tampa Bay recovers, he's sitting around looking real panicky as an NFL quarterback. Come on, man. Eagles, Niners, 17 seconds left in the first half. Donovan McNabb wants the clock, but I can't because Leonard Weaver is having a conversation with Alnai Brooks. Look at Reggie Brown throw his mouthpiece at Weaver. He didn't Now, Andy Reid says, I might have to go in another direction. Come on, man. While well, the Browns are forced to ponder against the Chiefs here. And watch Ryan Point Brown. He snapped the ball off Nick Swanson's head. And then Reggie Hodges can't get a hold of it. Chases to the end zone. He can't pick it up. So he stares it down. <laughs> now, let's watch it again. And beside the end, Injury insult or Mr. Hughes, Hodges rather, got a boo boo. While the Bills have pulled it within one of the Patriots, one touchdown on the outside kick, the Bills, they got it for Winter. Who has it? Yeah, he went that way. <laughs> you got it. No, they got it. No, I mean, you go off some. What do you mean? You had it. They bought number one pick, Bills. They had a great draft with Aaron Maven. Yeah. I guess that's why he's great off the ball. <laughs> Three yards offside. Come on, man. Circle a wagon. Oh, but Tom. Well, well you got. We got to give credit where credit yes, is due. Absolutely. I've had a lot of fun with Jamarcus Russell this year, but in beating the Broncos yesterday, I want to give your him, team, my team. I want to give him credit. This is fourth down, the last drive. You can see going toward two minutes. Slides a little bit in the pocket, delivers a nice strike for a first down, keep a drive going, and then ends this football game with just over 30 seconds left right there. Does all of that in mile high. You've had a season that I know you'd like to forget. 
that game you want to remember. You the man. You, you, that's a, you the man. That's a, that's a holiday edition of Come On. We had a lot to pick out. Yeah. We didn't even get to the kickers. <laughs> oh, man. We got, strip, we got people stripping the game. You went that away. Speaking of guys that went that away, news and notes with Adam and Mort, and as he said around the league, Come on, Mort. <laughs> hey, come on, Adam. All right, Mort, here we go. Even though Prime time a week ago, we go, come on, man, a full week. End of half, you also have swing and get watch Tom Cup. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> All right, get over here. Oh, we're going to do it again. That's going to fool him. No one. Oh, but there's nobody blocking. And as the punter throwing, he's not going to reach the end. Come on, man. The skin. <laughs> man, I... It, Oh, God. The whole performance was a come on, man, wasn't it? Well, I know why they're looking for a new head. Yeah, but it's more than that. that was, oh, the new boss shows up and we play like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's hope Cleveland had done that. They got a new boss. They're playing. Our last moment to the Super Bowl, right? Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl. Oh, we're going to Pro Bowl. Yeah, we're going to Yeah, but all We need you to really keep. But, 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 Keith, we'll be watching the whole time. <laughs> well, let's but go, we man. Let's week. go down to Miami. <laughs> let's go to. Miami Dolphins and the Houston Texans. Texans all over Miami. They are up. Here we go. Another touchdown. Woo! Celebration. Here's another touchdown. Celebration. Woo! That's another touchdown. Party. Now, 27 to nothing. Houston over Miami. Look at the two minority on J-Lo. Come on. Can't be in the box laughing. Let's move to New Orleans. Miss field goal by the New Orleans Saints, but the owner, Tom Vincent, is celebrating as if he... Wait a minute. We didn't make it. Oh, no, baby. Oh, no. Are you serious? Come on, man. Ravens and Steelers late in the fourth quarter. Derek Mason, great route. Flacco throws a great strike right here to him. Now, Key, this is the guy that earlier in the year called me and you a bum. Now, I think that you need to be concentrating on the football instead of worrying about what the analysts talking about. Derek Mason, come on, mate. Dolphins trying to find a comeback against the Texans. Matt Schaub downfield. Sean Smith took the ball, but Jabril Wilson, this is why you play on the defensive side of the ball. This is why you don't get to play offense. Let's take one more look at it right there. This is going to be the easiest pick. Yeah. Come on, man. Well, let's go back to week 15 and Matt Hassel back against the Bucks. Trying to land on the ball. He doesn't quite get it to the guy he's trying to get it to. The Bucks recover. Not too good. Now, last week's watch is against Green Bay. He throws the ball. Perfect throw to A.J. Huff. Perfect throw. <laughs> now, you got it. Look at this picture. I mean, there wasn't another Seahawk in the town of Green Bay. I mean, the only guy there was A.J. Huff. Come on, man. That's terrible. But I got to tell you, boy, we're going to close the hell. T. Carl Braddock's the great Giants. The last game of Giants save. And boy, there's, your boy, there's the line of scrimmage, Eli. Yeah! That's a mistake. What? What? Is, where's Tyree? No, bubblegum. Bellamy. <laughs> lateral to it. Oh, boy. They, they can't close that building fast enough for the Giants. In your last game there? Come on, man. <laughs> oh, they closed the building down like that? Okay, I'm going to have to get J-Lo and, and Benson and Mark Anthony in some owner 101 class That's to true. learn how to be owners in the box. You don't celebrate prematurely, Look and you don't car. sit up and smile when you're down 27 nothing. It's not the Grammys. Be careful what you say about the analysts, because we do a lot of TV. <laughs> it only yeah, takes a lot. It only stuff. takes money to be an owner. Remember that. <laughs> well, here's, but it takes skill to get on. Come on, man. Now this is a interesting. Come on, man, standings. Well, Tom, oh, yeah. eight times this year. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me see. <laughs> We're on Come On Man. The man in stripes. Well, they, I mean, we just can't talk, Raiders. The man in stripes who are responsible for six of them. Andy Reid remembers one of them, too. Oh, more than anybody but the Raiders, the poor guys. And the upset of the, <laughs> the, upset of the year. I know Jake DeLoma had an interesting season, but you know what? The Panthers are the only team under 500 with no come on bats this season. Wow. That's why you got to keep John Fox. See? You can't let him go. Come on, man. Absolutely. You the man. Think come on, man is over to September? But if you do, come on, man. Make sure you catch the come on, man of the season. Conference style in the Pro Bowl. We're on 530 to 730, January 31st for Miami before the Pro Bowl.